of the Ikonkong dance, African dance. Whenever you hear, see or you hear about African dance, the drums lead you. And it's much more than just the drums. It's the expression of what comes from within the people. You can get the expression coming from within the field where people are working. You can get it from the animals. You can get it from rituals. Anything that brings about the African dance in people, it is what is used to bring out any form of African dance. culture forms on dance are the climate you saw the Africans when they came across the slavery you saw the Amerindians Indians the Europeans you saw the rituals the beliefs the storytelling all of these make that form you saw culinary you saw the fools, you saw every single thing that the Africans, the Europeans, that they brought across to form one culture and make it the Afro-Caribbean culture. of enslaved Africans throughout the Caribbean has certainly provided an enriched environment filled with culture expression of Afrocentric dance forms derived out of the wide variety of African cultures which served as a means of survival during slavery and colonization. students when you are looking at your dances the dance that I'm going to use today is called Ikon Kong. Now you, there's a break or a change that must happen in all of your African dances and give me this break for the Ikon Kong. this is the break. You must hear that in order to change. It is not like music when the music is playing you change and say we're doing 8 or we're doing 16 we are breaking the African and the African dances. You must wait for the break. Don't care how long you are dancing out there, you must hear that break. One more time, baby. That's your break. Yes, the dances he come come. It is from South Africa and it's from the Jola people. We usually will have different drums being used, the Keturah drums, but ladies and gentlemen, we're using still African drums. So this rhythm we are going to do it too. And this here is done for other rituals, some ceremony purpose, a celebration. What we're going to do it for now is to, for you to see. So we're celebrating you within your CXC when you're doing your C set when you're doing it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, students, this is your Econ Kong dance. Oh, wing. Oh, I know.
confidence, that was your original, your African rhythm. Now we can show you some Caribbean and the form where you can take that same African dance and take it into the Caribbean. What you're going to do now is that you have to use your hips and bend a little more and make it more sultuous or more saucy, whatever you want to call it, and we will show that to you. Keisha, Dalrich, Richard, Salif, and David Headley. of this African dance program, you must understand the through form of your African when you're doing the original to your Caribbean. You must stay through to each form. Remember, when you're in the African, you must remember the stance, how it is, right, the rhythm, everything that you've been taught through the semester and what you're seeing through this day. Marry them together when you're coming to join the Afro-Caribbean with it. Remember, you have your African, all you gotta do is when you're putting your Caribbean, just add some more hips, and you just add that sauciness or whatever you think that you should call it inside of it. Marry two of them together and be true to your art form. Be true to your African, understand the characteristics, everything that is needed for it, and be true to your Caribbean. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy. Oh yes. Yeah, yeah.